Hello and welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, I'm here in Leowin. Well, that's pretty impressive. That's uh, the church, I guess. Huh. Anyway, um, so I got a new weapon. It's a two-hander. It's basically the same as my amber sword, except it weighs a lot more. It's 74 pounds, so it's really weighing me down, but I'm going to try it out. Stick with it. And uh, see how it goes. Uh, I also went and closed a Oblivion Gate just so I could get more... Where are they? Transcendent Sigil Stones. I figure maybe I can use these in um, Enchanting Armor. I got one that might be useful. Resist Magic 20%. That might be good. Um, I don't really care about the Resist Fire. But uh, I'm looking for something that, that'll maybe increase strength or something like that. But I haven't found that yet. So I'll, I'll close more Oblivion Gates over time and get more of these Sigil Stones. They'll give me random effects that I can use for enchanting armor. And uh, in the process of doing that, I gained a level. So that means... I can do more training. I gotta go to the Fighter's Guild. We're gonna raise our blade skill. Alright, let's see. Then we're gonna head back to the Isle of Madness. The Shivering Isles. And uh, explore there a little bit more. Alright, let's make sure... Um... I'm gonna put a few more points in Mercantile. Because it's costing me a lot of money to repair my... Weapon. And armor. I'm hoping that'll help. Uh, that'll net me some more money. Buying and selling and repairing. Uh, let's see. And then, uh, just blade, I think. Okay. Alright, good enough. So we put a few points in the blade. Hi there. If you're looking to learn even more, experience is your best bet. If you want pointers, I hear that Alex Lincolia is somewhere in Cyrodiil. Alex Don't tell me you've never heard of him. Lincolia. He's famous for his skill with a blade. And at his young age, he'll be a legend one day. Mark my words. Somewhere in Cyrodiil? I heard that he was on that narrows it down. Southern provinces, seeking oh, okay. fame and fortune. Maybe trying in along the way, like Fairgill. Oh, well, there we go. Fairgill. Good that you want to get better. Okay, she can still train me, though, so... I don't need to go somewhere else just yet. I'm willing to... Knowledge is power. Ow. Oh, that's it. She can't train me anymore. I can show you some new... You too. Southern... Southern provinces, you say. Faradil, you say. Uh... Hmm. Inn of Ill Omen. I wonder what's there. Yeah, there's more I, I'm gonna have to explore out here. Alright. Um... We can save that for later. I am gonna need to train up before I gain a level again, but in the meantime, it'll be a bit for, before I gain another level, so we can, um, we can do that training later for now. Back to the Shivering Isles. Now, I want to go, uh, let's go to Split. Whoa. Oh, God. 
There would be more corpses to oh, God. someone would get rid of all the doubles around here. Okay, now I'm seeing all the doubles. Uh, any rumors? I've never seen a dead gatekeeper. I should add him to my list. Did I ever tell you? I've counted over 900 dead rats. You keep a list of all the dead things you found? That's normal. Bye. What? Know what's funny about having a double? Nothing. Which one's the real one? Why did I cross the road? To avoid the other jujitsu. That's no joke. Why don't you like each other? How come they can't get along? I don't like you. I don't like my double even more. Tell me about your double. You're still annoying me. But not as much as the other Jesus. Thedon's got his cup. The world's back in order. I get it. So then why the hell are you still here bothering me? Get lost. Yeah, I helped Thedon with his cup. What's it to you? Sure, friend. Go right. Oh my god. Yes, I have plenty of time to talk to you. Gate I do. Must Try have not had some to fight as well might in the There would be more corpses. See you. Three, four. I sure don't like my double. Five, six. She doesn't count right. Seven, eight. Don't like that other Justira. Nine, ten. Not one bit. One, two. Adventurers are being sucked up into that dungeon again. Five, six. Take care. Kitty, kitty. They won't make armor and weapons, especially. Hey, I like your outfit. Have you seen my double, you cute little monkey? Have you? All right. Take care. What the hell am I going to do here about this double situation? I don't know. Uh, someone suggested I kill all the demented in town and he'll reward me. Are you a demented? Oh, you're, you're the one who gave me the quest. There's your yes. double. Made up your mind yet? There's work to be done. Wait, uh I'll do it. Good. A little hard work will do you some good. Just get rid of those demented freaks, and we'll all be happier. And stay away from us Mannix. You kill any of us by accident, you won't be getting anything from me. Uh -huh. You should be taking care of this, shouldn't you? There's See you later, yes? I heard you're working for those Mannix. Leave me alone. I don't want trouble. Uh... I've heard. He's even afraid of... Is there a way to resolve this without... ...just murdering everyone? Uh... Not really. You aren't going to kill me. I know it. Not that I, not that I can tell. Greetings. Everyone is just what? so angry. Does anyone want to give me more info on what's going on here, or can I go in your house? Can't I just find some other place for them to live? That seems like that would be the logical solution. I'm not above committing the occasional uh, murder here and there. Um, you know, just to see what happens. But I'm not going to murder an entire group of people. I hear battle music. Where'd you come from? Well, maybe this thing will do the job for me. Get him. No, it's gonna have to kill all of them. Alright, I didn't kill him. No, I didn't. Stupid quest update. 
I killed one of the manic residents of Split. I won't get rewarded for my efforts. Well, now I have no choice. I can't complete it anyway. Alright. We're going south. To the Hill of Suicides. I'm out of here. You got problems, you manic and... Uh, manic people and... Oh, south. Demented people, you, you settle your own problems. I'm, I'm staying out of this one. Now, my new sword is... Uh, if it's better, it's just marginally better. It was like five more damage. Uh, what's the damage now that I raised my blade skill? 32. Okay. Yeah, we're getting... As I'm raising up my blade skill, we're seeing uh, diminishing returns. Uh, which is fine and normal. But um, that kind of opens up the possibility... Uh, maybe we could try this again. Opens up the possibility of um, putting my points somewhere else. Okay. I need more hearts. Hearts of order. I don't know how many hearts I need to close this thing, but I'm going to get five. So one more? I think I had three before. How many do I have? Heart of order. Oh, I got five. Okay. Die, jerk. Oh my god. Ah, my weapon. What did you do? Knocked it out of my hands. Oh, my weapon's name. Yeah, I, I enchanted a, a two-handed sword. Stabby McChoppy Pants, that's what I named it. Okay, it's closed. Where's that body? Hey, there we go. I could loot it now. Necklace of the Sea. Order Priest Clothing. Oh, sure. Heart of Order. 28 of them? Oh, my stamina. It's not good, folks. So, are we closed? Is this closed for good? I got a bunch of hearts. They weigh a lot, so I don't... Oh, we can, uh... The obelisk has been deactivated. We can loot it. It's got garbage in it, but... Okay. Alright, now we know how to deal with this. Kill the priest, and then we can... Put five hearts in the obelisk. And then it's closed for good. Okay. Puddle jump camp. Oh. We've got an Atronach.
What do we got here? Bear pelt, three gold. Some booze. Just a little camp someone set up here. Not much else. There's a cave over there. Although it's probably just another, leads to another part of the, the whole root system thing, uh, root cave. But uh, I'll, I'll check it just to make sure. If it does, I'm not gonna go in there. Not gonna bother. Knife point hollow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take the money and run. That looks weird. Oh, some... Some kind of interaction with the tree and the water there. Yeah, okay. It's kind of throwing me off there. A weird reflection error. Hi there. Yeah. Yeah. I like that thing. Some kind of Lovecraftian nightmare creature is what it looks like. Okay, there's another campsite up here, and another crystal formation, which I don't really care about, but there is, uh, combat going on. Oh, they're fighting, uh, oh, wow. The priest lost that fight. Wait a minute. Priest is dead. Maybe I can close this. Oh. <laughs> priest, where's the priest? priest body is but oh priest there he is got some good stuff on him crystal staff lots of hearts do I want to bother with those I don't have the room for this stuff I'll take a few of them Or acts of lightning. Nah. Alright, well, now we know how to deal with those. Priest has to be dead. Then put in the hearts. Got it. So where are we? We're at the hill of suicides. I expected to find something here. 
flooded camp. That's not particularly interesting. Downside of fighting all those Order Knights is can't charge my gems off of them. Nothing. What was that? Grumite dagger. No. Just eight gold. Hey. I don't know why I picked up that silver thing. Yeah, get rid of it. Alright, well, uh, that's the Hill of Suicides. Hang on, let's, it's late, let's just lighten things up a bit. Rest till morning. I want to look around, there's got to be something down here. The Hill of Suicides, I expected a lot more. Something interesting here. It's barely a hill. come from help I need help I don't know where those guys came from I saw some stones here look like ruins but it's a oh it's a graveyard There's another Knight of Order over there. Oh, there's a cave there, too. Or a, um... Oh, something over there. Oh, hi. I thought you were a Knight of Order. Medesi. I guess those Knights of Order stopped chasing me. That's good. Uh, who are you? Lorenz Bogtrotter? Cannot speak with this restless soul. Mm, probably going to be a uh, quest that sends me here. Medesi. Lamarck. Is this right here the Hill of Suicides? Your souls can't leave this place? Is that what happened here? Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hill of Suicides. It's a little bit off to where, from where I was expecting. Hmm. You poor souls. Did you just jump off? Is that what happened? Is that what the graves are back there? Are you buried back there? Hmm. Well, I can't interact with them. I, I couldn't interact with the graves in any way. Are there bones down here? Did you jump off? I don't see any. Alright. I'm assuming maybe we'll have a quest that brings me here later, because right now I can't interact with any of them. Ah, well. The 
there was another... Uh, let's head south. I think there was another... Yeah, south and just kind of southwest. There was another unexplored area, like an icon on my map. Can't remember which direction it was in. Oh, hello. And there's another uh, crystal there, which I'm going to ignore. Don't really feel like closing another one. Uh, another crystal there, too. Yeah, they're popping up all over the place. The Grey March is in full swing. I see nothing but swamp. The low road. That's here. The Longing Coast. That's kind of where we're headed. Here we go. I found something. Ow. A cave. Which, it looks like it just leads down to the roots, probably. There's a lot of tree uh, roots here. Oh, there's a few things popping up on my compass. A fort up there. Well, first thing first, uh, let's... Get to the cave. Whatever that might be. Black root lair. Oh, there's a bunch of skulls posted outside this one. Ow. Alright, I don't think I need to bother going in here. What are you? Oh, a death dog. Haven't seen you in a while. Alright, let's, uh... Check out this campsite. Just another nondescript, regular... Campsite someone set up. Are you friendly? What? Oh, that's a uh, Jared Ice Veins. Hey. Do the bones talk to you? See you later. He's still hanging out out here. What's the matter? Somebody angry? I picked up a silver thing again. This What's going on? Right, damn you. Who, me? Yeah. What did I do? Yeah. Zealot Patriarch. I knew you were there. All right. Well, we can check out the fort. Let's have a look. Zealots, I presume. Death from above. Oh, not zealots. Oh, God. I'm being staggered like crazy. Oh, God. 
These are failed gatekeepers. I think. Or former gatekeepers that have died. Maybe. You're a high jumper. Alright, one way to go. Zasalem. Ah, let's check it out, why not? Although I'm... I'm kind of worried that this is going to be a quest area and that eventually I'm going to... come to a door that I won't be able to open and I'll be very disappointed. Sure, it'll happen. But we'll give it a try. These guys are tough, though. This guy's headless. Stop shooting me. Oh, there's a chest there. was lost there for a second. Thought I got turned around, but no, this is where I want to go. Did you just... kick me? He did a high kick. Way over my head. He's like 10 feet tall. He did a high kick to hit me. Well, I can go through here. Okay, that's just gonna lead... To the root system, I want to stay out of there. I think. Yeah. These guys are martial artists. What do we got here? Is the experimentation room? Why do you shoot me? I don't deserve this. What the hell? You see that sneak attack for 1x damage? Failed experiment? Sneak attack for 1x damage, why? Maybe he saw me at the last minute. I'll have to try some more sneak attack, see if that happens again. Build experiment. Okay. Did those buttons disable? No, I don't know what those buttons did. Uh, bloody candles. Potions. Build experiment. What did those buttons do? Maybe they did disable the statues here. Yeah. 
Skin to hound, ew. Well, this is interesting. Um, experiment chambers, okay. Yeah, sneak attack for one damage. Why is that? Is that because I'm using a... Two-handed sword? Can you not sneak attack with... Two-handed swords? That would be interesting. If that's the case, that would be very interesting. Okay. I see a great... shooty things on the ceiling and a bunch of buttons. Oh, sorry about that. There's a person down there. Hunger versus shambles. Experiment setup and hypothesis. Hunger versus shambles with elven catalyst. Uh, I guess that person down there is the catalyst. While generally an even match, these two shambles versus a single hunger, previous experiments have indicated that the presence of a warm body causes the hunger to increase its ferocity. This territorial hunting imperative is completely lacking in the shambles. They seek to destroy life, not to devour it. In this case, I have confined a hunger to its cage while leaving an unspoiled high elf female in viewing distance. Hungers seem to have a particular thirst for elf made in blood, and this one on the verge of flowering should be a particularly irresistible morsel. You. I hypothesize that the hunger will fight with the greater force and precision uh, fight with greater force and precision in the upcoming battle after I let the creature and elf maiden stew a while in each other's proximity I shall return in a few days to run the experiment uh, sorry for shooting you I'll try to rescue you Let's just try one more button Uh, you okay? All right, I did save my game. Let's try this button. Is that gonna open another cage? Yeah. Okay. I'll try to keep her alive. Let's see if I can get down there. Uh, you know, probably not. It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's a path there. But. test subject uh, here's the previous a previous maiden okay so another necromancer trying to build an army take over the world what's going on here also how do I get up there I don't think there's going to be much more to this place, but it is nice to just come across a place, a location, and just find some kind of story attached to it. Get some lore about what this place is used for, why it's here, what they're doing here. I like that. It's certainly better than 
if I had just come in and went through a bit of our generic dungeon and then got stuck at some point because I had to open a door because I needed a quest key or item. More failed experiments. Yeah, nothing. Hello. Draining their blood. Like, none of the blood is getting in the bowls. The blood is getting everywhere except inside the bowls. Somehow. Probably because they can't apply decals to bowls. Because of engine limitations. That's my guess. Nothing. Okay, we're going deeper. Ow, God. He just did a jump double kick thing at me. Wow, this guy knows Kung Fu. Weak old blood. Experiment setup and hypothesis. Weak old blood. I've paired up a hound and shambles of equal fighting capacity. However, I've recently drained the hound of its zombie blood and replaced it with the blood extracted from a Breton corpse, which had lain for a week rotting in the hot sun. This guy's just trying random disgusting crap, hoping that something comes of it, it, it seems. Like, I'll, I'll just leave a, a corpse in the sun for a week and then uh, drain its blood and then replace a dog's blood with it and see what happens. When I return, having let it acclimate to its new supply of vital fluid, I expect the hound will perform with much less efficiency than normal. Well, yeah. No kidding. Project Hound's Blood, Day 7. Uh, Day 1 observations? Uh, I can't tell if that's a 7 or a 1. 7? My theory stated before trial is this. Blending the most recent concoction of Hound Blood with the form... Uh, with that from a headless zombie will result in a beast with greater fury and resistance to pain. Also, it has to be a headless zombie. I can't just take blood from a zombie with a head. Uh, that would be ridiculous. Test 1. Subject 1 has the current concoction. Subject 2 has the new mixture. Battle 1. Subject 1 lasted approximately 1 minute before expiring, having done average amount of injury to Subject 2. Subject 2 seemed not to notice most of the injuries it received. Battle 2. After a drawn-out combat, Subject 1 killed Subject 2 but suffered near-fatal wounds. Subject 2 fought to the bitter end with same, the same energy it started with. Battle 3. Subject 1 went out very quickly. Battle 4. Subject 1 lasted less than a minute. Subject 2 took little injury. Test 2. Subject A and, both, a and B both have the standard blood. Subject C and D both have the new blood. Battle 1, A versus B, lasted just over a minute, both hounds suffering grievous energy, uh, injury, and somewhat bothered by their wounds. <laughs> Battle 2, A versus B, nearly identical results. Battle 3, C versus D, lasted over two minutes, both hounds suffering grievous energy, uh, en injury. Neither seemed very winded or bothered by their wounds. Battle 4, C versus D. Lasted under a minute, both suffering grievous in injury. Neither seemed very bothered. It seems my original theory was correct. In future trials, I will try watering down the headless zombie blood before adding it to the mixture to gain some insight into the actual potency of the blood itself and determine how much of the additional effect is coming from its combination with the existing ingredients. 
If there was only some way to create a headless zombie. Possibly from a normal zombie. Alright, fight. This guy's gonna be pissed off. I messed up his experiment. Ah, uh, the shamble wins. Okay. Let's try here. Shambles skull. Gimme. Over encumbered. Uh, I probably don't want the shamble skull. I was thinking maybe I could um, give it to the museum lady, but nah. There's a lady in uh, in New Shioth collecting strange artifacts. Well, I can go down there, but what's up here? Ah, needs a key. It finally happened. We finally encountered the unpassable door. Ah, uh, it might be part of a quest. Does every interesting dungeon or fort or ruin have to be part of a quest? Can it be just be something I find on my own? Experiment, setup, and hypothesis. Reptilian appetite conditioning. I've raised these ballywags and Scallon together from hatchling to adult. I inflicted great pain on them when they were aggressive towards each other and rewarded them when they showered aggr showed aggression, aggression towards others. They have since acquired an almost familial bond, normally expressed in warm-blooded creatures. See previous experiment log for details. For the last month, I have been starving them in separate cages, allowing them to occasionally eat, but only tiny amounts of reptil reptilian flesh. I have procured a fatty Breton of previously luxurious lifestyle. There is not an ounce of muscle on him. <laughs> he should be a most tempting snack indeed but we shall see i shall return soon to run the experiment there's still some time left to starve the reptiles until they're most desperate i'll take that i guess oh sorry the breton man is still there they don't seem to notice him though Run, dude. I mean, uh, you got nowhere to run to, I guess. I think that's, that guy's gonna win. Is he gonna go after the Breton? The answer is yes. Huh. Well. That's it. We're going no further. Apparently this place, this area is part of a quest. And I cannot pass beyond this point. But, um, I'm sure we'll get sent back here later. Now I gotta find my way out. Uh, this way. Yeah. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'll get out of here, and then, um... Where am I? Yeah, we started out at the Hill of Suicides, exploring there. Um, we can continue along the coast here. But maybe I should get back on the... The main 
Shivering Isles quest. Because I think that'll take us around, uh, around the Isle, so... Yeah, maybe we should do that. That might eventually lead to this place. Who knows? Anyway, I can't progress any further, unfortunately, so... It's gonna have to end here. Although I am curious to meet this... Uh, whoever's doing these experiments. Sounds like he's having a lot of fun, to be honest. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.